It will be a day like no other. We got a great day planned for you guys today. It's going to be really fun. You're going to be exhausted when you go home, but you will never forget this day. For many of these men, this day started 65 years ago. Some on the battlefields of Europe, others in the Pacific Theater. Some veterans start this day with a spring in their step. Others, less mobile, but no less moved by their reception at Baltimore Washington Airport. This happens with every flight of veterans. Thank you very much for your service, sir. There are now dozens of flights each month. Some planes full, some with just a few veterans. But the reception is always the same. My grandfather was in World War II, he was a Marine, and uh, you know, when I saw everybody walking with their grandfather or their dad, I mean, I, I kind of wish that I had a chance to do it with my grandfather, so. And that is why Honor Flight Network brings World War II veterans from around the country to Washington, D.C. Started in 2005 with six private planes and 12 veterans, they now fly over 35,000 vets a year to see the memorials built in their honor. For many, it's the first recognition of their service and a reminder of the many losses. Many times it's at the Wall of Stars, at the Freedom Wall at the World War II Memorial, where you'll see a veteran looking at that, thinking about his buddy that didn't make it, and all of a sudden you see him just kind of slump his shoulders and exhale. He just forgave himself for being lucky. You tear up a little bit when you see some of the, the people that you know, this names on the wall and how you escaped is hard to figure out. To me it's joyful because I'm here and I'm with my fellow veterans and, and we can all enjoy it. Of course there are a lot of guys that didn't make it. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of my relatives didn't make it. Well, I'm sort of humbled by it, really. Uh, this is a very moving experience, especially when you see all those symbols of the people who served and died, the price of freedom. Oh, that's a great experience. Of course, I lost one of my best friends. At the Iwo Jima Memorial across the Potomac River, the buses stop again. And salute! This time, Marines on active duty are there to thank them. Well, thank you for your service. I know it's a tough battle. It was tough. I didn't think I was going to get out of it. You guys gave us our history right here, so we are forever in your debt. It was kind of remarkable. I believe it was on the 23rd I saw that flag go up. Talking to men that actually saw that flag raise, it's, it takes my breath away. To come face to face with, with guys that actually came across the beaches, it's, it's incredible. But those who served in World War II, no sacrifice wasn't unique to their lives or their time. He's on panel 10W, line number 55. Can you go look? look yeah. At the Vietnam Memorial, these old timers, those who lived through one war, what was his name, Philip? Orwell? Right here. Hello, pay their respect to those who did not from the next generation. I wanted to make a copy of a friend who grew up next across the street from me who was killed in Vietnam. His name is Philip Philip Arnold. Paying respect to another young man another name on the wall, another fallen warrior. It has been a day to remember. It's been a day to share for those who escaped, the lucky ones. But for many veterans, it's the day they can finally leave the war and come home, a day to say thank you 
65 years in the making.